Hello, young math enthusiasts. Are you ready for some fun with division? Dive right into our math quiz for kids channel for exciting division challenges. And if you're ready to test your skills, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Eighty one divided by nine is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number eighty one by nine. Each group contains nine units, so dividing eighty one by nine results in nine equal groups. Thus, the result is. 81 divided by 9 equals to 9. Thirty-two divided by 8 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 32 by 8. Each group contains 8 units, so dividing 32 by 8 results in 4 equal groups. Thus, the result is 32 divided by 8 equals to 4. 54 divided by 9 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 54 by 9. Each group contains 9 units, so dividing 54 by 9 results in 6 equal groups. Thus, the result is 54 divided by 9 equals to 6. 28 divided by 7 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 28 by 7. Each group contains 7 units, so dividing 28 by 7 results in 4 equal groups. Thus, the result is 28 divided by 7 equals to 4. 12 divided by 2 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 12 by 2. Each group contains 2 units, so dividing 12 by 2 results in 6 equal groups. Thus, the result is 12 divided by 2 equals to 6. 24 divided by 4 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 24 by 4. Each group contains 4 units, so dividing 24 by 4 results in 6 equal groups. Thus, the result is 24 divided by 4 equals to 6. 24 divided by 6 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 24 by 6. Each group contains 6 units, so dividing 24 by 6 results in 4 equal groups. Thus, the result is 24 divided by 6 equals to 4. 21 divided by 7 is time to think. Let's 
go to the solution. Divide the number 21 by 7. Each group contains 7 units, so dividing 21 by 7 results in 3 equal groups. Thus, the result is 21 divided by 7 equals to 3. Twenty-eight divided by four is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number twenty-eight by four. Each group contains four units, so dividing twenty-eight by four results in seven equal groups. Thus, the result is 28 divided by 4 equals to 7. 48 divided by 6 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 48 by 6. Each group contains 6 units, so dividing 48 by 6 results in 8 equal groups. Thus, the result is 48 divided by 6 equals to 8. 56 divided by 8 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 56 by 8. Each group contains 8 units, so dividing 56 by 8 results in 7 equal groups. Thus, the result is 56 divided by 8 equals to 7. 64 divided by 8 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 64 by 8. Each group contains 8 units, so dividing 64 by 8 results in 8 equal groups. Thus, the result is 64 divided by 8 equals to 8. 8. What is 72 divided by 8? Imagine this. You have 72 objects to divide into groups of 8. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 72 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of 8. What is 80 divided by 8? Picture this. You have 80 objects to divide into groups of 8. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 80 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them. What is 21 divided by 3? Picture this. You have 21 objects to divide into groups of three. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 21 objects. Can you picture them lined up? What is 30 divided by three? Picture this. Thirty 
objects to divide into groups of three. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 30 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups. What is 20 divided by 2? Picture this. You have 20 objects to divide into groups of 2. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 20 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups. What is 50 divided by 5? Picture this. You have 50 objects to divide into groups of 5. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Imagine you have 50 objects. Can you picture them lined up? What is 16 divided by 8? Picture this. You have 16 objects to divide into groups of 8. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 16 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Fifty-six divided by seven is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 56 by 7. Each group contains 7 units, so dividing 56 by 7 results in 8 equal groups. Thus, the result is 56 divided by 7 equals to 8. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome! Remember, practice makes perfect! Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more division quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.